nice midweek win. You know, got a nice start from Carson there. Great start from Carson. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the that's the guy we're used to seeing, and and people in college baseball have seen that. But we just knew you just got to take a little bit of time, and you just you didn't get the pitch in the summer and fall and. He don't want to make excuses, but you know, I, I had all the confidence in the world that he was gonna get it going. And and um, great start by him. I, I looked at the stat sheet. I didn't realize we didn't walk a guy today. You know, and with the strike zone in college baseball now, I mean, uh, that's not easy to do. I don't know how many games we've had where you didn't walk a guy. So you know, hats off to the entire pitching staff. And you know, Riley looked really good. Obviously, the strikeouts and. You know, we bring in Hartman for his first appearance in college baseball and second and third, and, man, that, yeah, that was impressive. That was fun to watch. How pleased uh, were you with the guys in the top of the order? It seems like they really set the tone for the offense. Uh... Yes. What, what? Maybe we missed a game or two. I, I mean, those three guys were really good. And, obviously, Zion's been good in that spot. Moore is good in that spot. Benson can be the leadoff. But, you know, Benson's like our Webster of the pitching stat. Like you, you can put – Benson anywhere in the lineup, and it looks like he, he'll fit right in that spot. So a lot will just depend on what other guys are in the lineup. And um, But, yeah, the one, two, three, I, I looked at the offensive chart, and I was like, wow, there was a lot of quality at bats in there. You mentioned last week just about the early in the season and building, and you want to see improvement every game. You've seen that since – last week I think in every game no doubt I mean I don't know what, what do we play eight games so far and I think seven of them you know we had a legitimate chance to win I think one game we we got it handed to us uh, and that's going to happen but you know you don't want to get it handed to you in the midst of those other tough games that we kind of let slip away or didn't do enough to, to win so um, I'm pleased that we're making progress I mean we, we take so much pride in teaching the game game notes um, and I've always said it too, winning will mask efficiency. So you get their attention when you're losing. Man. You get their attention when they're frustrated and they're not happy and, and it's not fun. Losing's not fun. So if anything, we, we got their attention, um, but they still got to respond and learn and act on it. And they are, they're, they're doing it. I'm, I'm proud of them for that. What, what's now the next steps you want to see as you move on? You've got you know a couple more weeks here at home before you go back out on the road. Uh, obviously, you're always looking for quality starts on the mound. You're always, you know, these these pieces that come out of the bullpen, we need them. We need them all. You're hoping they stay consistent. We've been pretty good out of the bullpen. Um, offensively and defensively, that, that's just, you got to be able to play all games. Can you play the 3-2 game? Um, can, you, can you come from behind? You know, we did on Sunday, losing in the eighth. Um, can you hold the lead? I mean, I just, the game's going to, present a lot of opportunities for us let's control what we can control and that's that's what we're doing on the mound today that was impressive be ready to make plays and then offensively um continue to have quality at bats we had a lot of quality at bats today anderson meant he's mentioned that he's been dealing with a little bit of back issues that's kind of kept him in and out but when he's gotten the opportunities he's obviously doing quite well your thoughts on how yeah, he's performing like i said i think i said it the other day i mean he's voted the best hitter in our program he gets a lot of respect because you can see he can hit the ball to all fields he can hit with two strikes you know um it's just a quality hitter you know i've been calling him dave magadan for a couple years but you know most people don't know who dave magadan is but when you're my age uh you know who he is and i've always thought the bat path the ability to hit for average and power. Like power comes as you get older and stronger, uh, which is why the back's bothering him because he, he lifted really hard uh, over the winter break and last summer and fall. Um, but the bat path is always there, man. So it's got a, it's got a chance to be a high average guy with some power, which is makes you special. How impressed are you by this early start from Lucas Moore? Most of, the, most of your years here, you've had at least one freshman who's kind of taken off his first year, and so far through the first couple of weeks, it seems like Moore might be that guy. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we challenge that, that, you know, um, we always have freshmen step up. We kind of point out sometimes freshmen around the country that, that have done special things in the past few years. You know, I, I get to stick my chest out and say I coach two national freshmen of the year in all of college baseball. So it can be done. Freshmen can do it. I don't put that pressure on them. We don't put that pressure on them. It's just let them come along at, at their speed and their level. And, yeah, more, you know, he did that late in the fall, and then he did it in spring training. So um, 
it's not surprising, but it's just nice to see that he carried over uh, what he did leading up. You know, we saw that in the scrimmages and um, great demeanor, and he's playing right now in a real even keel, which has just been huge for our offense, that value up at the top. Can you talk a little bit about the bullpen today? You got real good stuff from Riley, kind of a bounce back. Maybe it had a, a little bit of a rough start to, the, to yeah, his season. Yeah. Struck out the first four and, and then got to feature the the freshman um, for the last four outs. Uh, a lot of talent. It's it's pitching depth, um, and it's I, like I think I tried to correct myself the other day. It's not necessarily about starters and bullpen guys. It's talented pitchers, especially early in the year. Some will get thrown into some some ugly situations. That's part of it. But most of the time, you're starting your own inning. You're running out there just be aggressive in the zone so kind of worked out good that we had to run Hartman out with second and third in his first outing and um and he can do that and he give credit to the older pitchers I mean he's got to watch Gungora and Webster and and Riley before him and Liggett and all these older pitchers that have you know for the most part been really good and throwing the ball in the zone so I've been most impressed with the young guys because they obviously have talent but they're they're throwing the ball in the zone and they're being aggressive and that that's what we ask that's what we challenge them that we trust them they're in this uniform you know they work hard it's not always going to go their way but you know we, we feel like we're showcasing our our pitching talent and our depth right now All right. thanks dan